about to give y'all story time. Quick one. It's embarrassing though. <laughs> Okay, May 27th, 2020, y'all. This is one of my Tinder story times. I have a lot of Tinder story times, but I haven't told them. Slash, I just be forgetting about them because it was just a time in my life that came and went, okay? Anyway, so basically, I'm on Tinder, mind my business, match with this guy, right? Um, And so we match whatever. He looks probably cute, decent, whatever on the page, right? So... I am like, okay, cool. I was just, I was so wild back then. So I, if I match with you and you didn't seem creepy when we have like a small conversation, I wouldn't mind linking up. <laughs> oh, look, it's my mom. Look who wants to call back now. I just want to make sure you're not getting anxious um, with your stuff. You good? Yes. I was just talking about you in the video. Oh, what video? Um, what video? You in the video, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, no problem. Um, I was just saying that, you know, we might have to mail some stuff. We just got to figure out how much it's going to cost. Yeah, and, and figure out what's mandatory. Yeah, so go through that stuff. If there's anything there that you're like, you know, I could probably part with this. Oh, believe me, anyway. I've been trying to part with everything I could part with. Okay. Because I don't want to have no nothing to we'll do later, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, and we don't have enough space for you just to be trying to take everything, and I'm not trying to. I have to bring my lava lamp. Of course you gotta bring your lava lamp. I mean, why wouldn't you? I'm gonna bring my lava lamp. Okay, well, you enjoy that. All right, well, since I know that you're good, I will talk to you. Okay. I'm still, I'm still sitting here with my friend. Oh, tell and your friend I say hi. Hi, Stephanie. Did you say Stephanie? Yeah, I can say Stephanie. I can't wait to meet you. Oh, I'm excited to meet you, too. All right, little girl, I'll talk to you later. All right, love you, Mom. Love you, too. Bye. Bye-bye. Y'all, I'm nervous to meet her. I don't like meeting new people. I get so nervous. I mean, I do like meeting new people, but I get nervous. Like, it's my mom's friend. Why am I low-key nervous? I don't know. Anyway, so I decide I'm going to pull up to Homeboy's house, and we had texted a little bit. Did these texts say it? Oh, look, look. It says, hey, it's blank. And then I said, hey, and I said, do you want chocolate chip or sugar cookies? Because I think on the app, on Tinder, we were messaging about me coming through to watch a movie and making cookies. And so it was like, okay, cool. So I asked him which one he wanted he said you pick and then he said can you bring foil right now and then i said lol y'all yeah, grab some what's your address he sent me the address and then he said he was showering whatever i said see you soon he said how long's the drive 20 away for show then boom i said i'm outside so i drove to his house it was like low-key far i don't know if it was actually 20 minutes away from my house or if it was 20 minutes away by the time he texted me because it was like a low-key a push like, it wasn't 20 minutes away. So, I shouldn't even went in the first place. That's my point of saying that. Um, but anyway, so I get there. I'm outside. And it's a house or whatever. And it doesn't look sketchy or whatever. So, he comes outside. Brings me in the house. So, as soon as I see him, I'm just like, okay, not bad, whatever. But, eventually, I see his mouth. And his mouth looks nasty. Like, his teeth and his mouth do not align with what was in his fucking mouth freaking um tender profile and i'm like oh my god so <laughs> i'm just thinking to myself i don't pull up i don't buy cookies we're supposed to watch a movie he takes me to his room and he's like oh like pretty much like on some get comfortable type shit so he's showing me the room whatever it's like the bed and he's like oh yeah you can sit down or whatever and that's like the only place to sit with his freaking bed so i sit down on the bed and i'm just like bro how in the hell am i gonna get out of this one so shout out to my roommates because what i did was i messaged my roommates i wonder if i could find the messages from that day I message my roommates and I just tell them like, y'all, he is ugly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, y'all.
y'all he's ugly i need to get out of here y'all gotta call me right now y'all gotta call me sos help me get out of this situation so i remember i'm just there and i'm just waiting for the call because my roommates are like okay okay we'll call you we'll call you i don't know if i got to call them on the phone or if i message them because I feel like there was a point where I was alone to call them, but I'm not sure. Because I don't remember them texting me back that fast, but maybe they did. I don't remember. But either way, they would they would be able to tell me. If I called them, they would be like, girl, remember you called them. But anyway, I either called them or texted them, but I'm pretty sure I called them for a split second, hung up, and then continued with the text. I'm not sure. But anyway, so next thing I know... He comes back in the room or we get back together, whatever. Because there was a point where I was alone or he wasn't there, whatever, something. There was an opportunity where I was able to contact some fucking help. So, <laughs> I'll be paying some help. Like, I couldn't have just said, hey, I don't want to be here anymore. I got to go. But I just didn't want to be rude and be like, you're ugly. That's mean. So, <laughs> so, um, what's it called? So, I'm sitting there, whatever. Phone gets serene hello and it's one of my roommates and they're like mariah so and so is hurt or whatever um we i think they said that they were all sick and throwing up or something like that and that i needed to come home to take to take them to the hospital and i just want to be like oh my god are you guys okay do i need to come home <laughs> like so dramatic so fake I don't know if he fell for it or not, honestly. But they were just like, yeah, you need to come. And I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> so I head out, obviously. And then I just block him, I believe. Um, and I never contact him again. And it was because I didn't think he was cute. It was because his teeth. <laughs> but shout out to him I feel bad but not that bad because I had to get out of there there was no way I couldn't stay <laughs> oh no I couldn't stay I couldn't stay there, that was it Um, that's the simple short like I said it was a short story but yeah like I said in another story or they, maybe this was on no I said it's on my podcast Tinder is no place to be, especially after some trauma and other teas. You need to go to therapy. The only tea you need to seek when in distress is tea equals therapy, not tea equals Tinder. Don't go on Tinder. I mean, Tinder's fun for a period of time, but you know what? Let me not say don't go on Tinder. Just go on tinder with a little bit of sense and precaution and don't go on tinder and do what i do <laughs> i have fun though so i don't know do what i did if you want to have fun but you're gonna need a lot of therapy after that anyways that's the story y'all don't forget to like comment subscribe share follow don't type turn everything here love you all see you never hope you enjoy the story uh bye Oh, yeah. Also, I'll link my other story times in the description box, like my story time about he was homeless and his girlfriend pulled up to the first date and all that stuff. I'll put that in the description and I have more stories coming out. So just subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Now, love you all. See you next Bye.